So I'm here in Langkawi for the Langkawi Half Marathon. A couple of months ago, I came to Langkawi and I ran with a great group, bunch of guys who were the Langkawi runners. Uh, they took me in Highland for a super run around the, 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 the island. Uh, and at the same time, they told me about this half marathon. It's the second year they've done it. And I thought, yeah, hey, gotta come. Shame Highland can't come, she's in the UK. Uh, but I wanted to come and show my support. And it also looks like a beautiful place to run. Two weeks ago, I ran the Conwy Half Marathon. The Conwy Half Marathon was hilly, I was jet lagged, uh, and it was bloody cold. Uh, this one is flat as a pancake, so I believe. Uh, I'm not jet lagged, so I'm hoping for a good time, uh, but it's also bloody warm. So let's see what I get. In Conway, I got 139.54 seconds. So I'm kind of hoping to, to do that as well. I'm hoping to go under 140 again, maybe even a bit faster. We'll see how much benefit I get from that flat. Either way, it's going to be a great, a great event. A couple of things to say about this one. Uh, it's definitely got the best number pickup place I've ever been into in my life. It's at a beautiful resort right on the, on the, on, on the beach. Uh, I can't remember the name, but I'll put a few photos of it. It was, it was, it was, it was superb. Uh, and I'm a bit confused, but it appears that the start line for this half marathon is actually indoors. Um, not sure yet, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can go into 140. <laughs> So I'm at the starting line, which is indoors, which is interesting because the GPS doesn't like the indoor starting line. 1,300 runners. Don't know if you can hear me because it's damn noisy. So that's 10k done. The 145 pacer group's just gone past me. See them there. Yeah, I uh, had to make a decision to just uh, jog it in. I was doing. 440s for the first five or six k it felt like 420 425 sort of effort and i uh, yeah, just couldn't keep it up i don't know what's wrong but i do know what's wrong uh firstly i'm shit on hills uh secondly didn't get enough kip and the third thing is very important which i'll come to at the end i don't want to give that away just yet but uh yeah i'm not going to hit my target that's impossible now uh, i don't even think i'll do 145 i doubt i'll do 150 i might even not do two hours so just gonna jog it in see what happens Well, that was tough. It was a beautiful course. It was a really well managed run. Uh, it was marked absolutely to perfection. Uh, I tell you what, Singapore races can learn a lot from this little low key uh, half marathon in Langkawi. But unfortunately, I was shit. Uh, I was a good 12 minutes slower than the previous race in Conway, only two weeks ago. Came in at over 152, which I'm very disappointed with. It wasn't an A race, but nobody wants to do badly in a race, and uh, I would consider myself to have done pretty badly today. But even so, I've still got a potential 10th international foreigner, Laowai, or whatever we call foreigners here, potential 10th place. So I'll hang around a little bit and see if I've won anything, because I'm a professional runner if I've won something. And when I get back home to the hotel, I will give you the reasons why I think I did such a shit run today. So I'm back from the Langkawi half marathon and I'm brooding about my time, which obviously I'm not happy with. I was 1.53 plus a little bit, which is like 13, 13 and a half minutes slower than I was in Conway, which is a much more hilly uh, run just 13 days ago. So what went wrong? I think there are three things that went wrong, frankly, uh, all starting before today. Uh, the first one goes back for weeks, goes back for months, probably even years. I'm shit on hills. I need to do some serious hill training. Uh, there's not many races that I know which don't have some form of hill. Uh, and today, the hills were gentle, but they were there. And every single one, I fell back. Uh, just like in Conway, you know, where there's a serious hill, uh, I fell back seriously there. So, number one, I need to do some serious hill training. Uh, number two, was the Conway Marathon itself. That was 13 days ago, uh, where I actually went pretty damn hard to get my 139 and 54 seconds, which will be 50 quid from Wangi. But frankly, I had to work pretty hard to get that 139 and 54 seconds. And I feel that 13 days later, I'm still not uh, fully recovered. So that took something out of me. I just didn't have the energy. I didn't have the legs. I didn't have the lungs. I didn't have the, the, the power. Uh, to go at the pace I needed to for as long as I needed to. So I need to race less apart from parkrun because parkrun doesn't count. And the third thing, 
normally before a run like this, I don't have any alcohol for at least a day, two, three days beforehand. And I was doing okay on that. But yesterday I wanted to have my hair cut and I went for a walk outside of the hotel to try and find a barber shop so I could get my nice short back and sides. Uh, uh, but all of a sudden I heard the, the rush of the, rain, of the rain coming in and it started to absolutely piss it down. It was raining cats and dogs. So I ran quickly to the nearest uh, shelter. That just happened to be a bar, and that bar just happened to sell alcohol. So I did have a couple of beers. Uh, I thought that a couple of beers wouldn't really have much effect, but I'm pretty sure it did. So, lack of preparation for hills, still tired from Conwy, and then a couple of beers uh, before on, on the night before the, uh, the actual marathon. I think that's the three things that came together and put 13 bloody minutes on my half marathon time. It's crazy. So yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm a bit dejected by it all, but I think that's proper learning. I know what to do for the next one. So next year, I will go sub 40 again. I'll get much closer to 135. And the main target, priority A for this year, still remains cracking that 20 minutes for the 5K. But as soon as I get back to Singapore, as soon as I get uh, to the UK, that's what I'm gonna do. Watch this space. Just as an afterthought, I've just realized that I didn't mention that I was not actually the 10th foreigner, the 10th international runner. I was actually the eighth international runner. So that's the silver lining onto the poor results. Eighth international runner, Langkawi International Mar Half Marathon 2023.